Hi, my name is Bob Ferguson. I'm a regional sales engineer for Belden's Broadcast Navy products. Today we're going to talk to you about 2183 cable and the new RevConnect. If you haven't seen the 2183 cable, it's a cable we specifically designed for the HD based T signal. It is a unique product in that it is an overall shielded category type cable, but it is not a category cable. It is a cable specifically designed for the HD based T signal. The unique things that you'll notice about this cable is that while it is an overall shield, it has a unique drain wire in that it's helically wrapped around the product. In addition, we have a 23 gauge pairs. These are pairs are bonded together with Belden's patented bonded pair technology within the cable. This together with the shielding basically gives us an HD based T cable that's capable of sending the signal, a 4K signal, at a 100 meter distance in a bundled configuration. To start the termination process, we take our cable sample. For tools today, we'll use the RevConnect tool and you'll also need a pair of wire cutters as well. To start with, you take the Rev Connect tool. Inside of the handle is a strip tool. Use the strip tool, go about two to three inches down the cable. You want to go once around with the strip tool applying pressure. You can then flex the cable and separate that jacket. It helps if you untwist the jacket as that spiral wrap groove tends to grab a hold of the jacket to slide it off the cable. With that out of the cable, we now want to be able to use the rip cord. The rip cord basically will bring the jacket down to open area where we haven't risked term, or nicking the cable with the strip tool. To ease that process, if you take your snips and you snip the jacket slightly, it'll give you a place to start with the rip cord, again going down another two to three inches into the cable. A neat trick to be able to do with your rip cord is you take the rip cord and you wrap it around the jacket twice. This will give you an easy place to, to peel the jacket away from the cable and a barrier. Again, to start the process, if you pull it out, a small nip into the jacket, and then you can peel the jacket around that rip cord and set that off to the side. We're done with the rip cord at this point, we can remove it from the cable. We undo the drain wire. Now the drain wire again on this is helically wrapped on the, around the cable. When you're doing any of the shielded products, it helps to have more drain wire. You want at least eight inches of drain wire exposed. As you see, as we unwrap this, we'll have more than our eight inches of drain wire available. Now the 2183 product, when you look at the foil, has the metallic portion on the outside, or the conductive material, and on the inside is the mylar wrap and coat. To make sure that we have a good conductor to the ground, we want to make sure that we attach it to the foil as well. To do this, we want the foil over the jacket portion of the cable. So as you separate the jacket down, you want to pull the, drain, the foil down over to the jacket. Now because the foil is outward facing, we have to fold it back onto itself. So we pull it down onto the cable. We then go down about an inch onto the cable. We'll snip the foil and again peel that off. Again, we'll fold this back up. So what we end up with is roughly a half inch of foil out onto the cable. We can then fold that back around to the cable. We take the drain wire at this point, and we want to wrap it around the cable. We want a nice, nice tight wraps, and we want to make sure that they're in a single layer down the cable. Again, we want to go out that full half inch of cable. The very end wrap, it helps if you put a little loop into the cable and a knot basically tucking underneath itself to pull up and in. It prevents it from acting like a spring and coming undone. We then snip off the rest of the drain wire and we move on to the next process. From here, it's really the same process whether it's a shielded or unshielded cable. The RevConnect comes with a wire manager and a cap. Together, these two products make the core. Once we go from there, we can make it a plug or we can make it a jack within the process. So we start with the RevConnect. If you look at the bottom of the RevConnect plug, you notice the wiring scheme for both 568A and 568B. Today, we're gonna to do 568B wiring scheme. So to do that, we wanna take the brown and the orange pair up. We would take the blue and the green pair down from the cable. We line those two cables up with the two color codes here, sliding it through the two holes. As I push this down onto the connector, I want to check the very end of it and make sure that the blue pair is going into the blue groove and the green pair is going into the green-orange groove of the cable. If not, you'll notice two arrows on the RevConnect wire manager that you can twist in a clockwise direction to line those up. These are lined up correctly, so I pull the two pairs up. 
If I look at the RevConnect, you'll notice two grooves go off in one direction, two in the other. So two pairs go one direction, orange and blue, and then brown and green go the other direction within the cable. Now I want to undo the twist on these cables and I want to make sure that the white is on the outside. So color code for this is white on the outside. If you think of snow or white out, it helps you remember that white always goes on the outside or the corner. To undo the twist on a bonded pair cable, I don't need to separate the pairs. I just need to flatten out the twist at that last quarter inch. If I take the cable and I put a small L into it, I can simply untwist the cable pair as it lines into that groove. If I look at this pair, white's on the inside. A little trick is just pull it up and then flip it over onto the cable and it'll lay right into the groove. I want to do this with all four pairs. Again, undo that last half inch of twist, making sure that the white pair is always on the outside and that it's laying flat and into the grooves of the cable. This is my chance to visually inspect what I've done to this point. So this last half inch of the cable should be flat and into the grooves and the white pair should be onto the outside. So white is on the outside, white is on the outside, flip it over and white is on the outside of both of those pairs as well. The cap basically goes in, the two tabs go down where the cable came up into the cable. This is one part that you want to make sure as you push it onto the cable that it's fully inserted into the bottom of the, of the cap. If you have a hard time putting it on, you can certainly press it onto a hard surface to make sure that it is. Once it's fully seated onto the thick onto the, the body, we want to take the RevConnect tool. The RevConnect tool is designed so that if I insert the product, it has to be fully inserted or it won't engage until it's fully inserted. To fully insert it, you insert it in, that black tab will come over onto the connector. We then engage the crimp mechanism which drives the pins in and cuts the pairs off. As you hold the handle, those pairs will fall off. We've now completed the RevConnect termination process. If we notice the RevConnect tool, there's a small shark fin on one side. That will match up with the grooves on the taps on the, on the connectors. The shielded connectors have two tabs. You basically push those, those open up. These two doors will come and grab to the shielding and complete the ground of the connector within the product. So if I want to make it a plug, I line these pairs up. Again, with that small groove lined up to there, I'd snap it in, close the doors. If I want to change this, I can undo it, pull it off, and I can make this, instead of a plug, I can make it into a jack. Again, line those two conductors up. The tab, slide it in, close the two doors, and we've completed your termination process on the cable. That's the RevConnect product. Visit our website at Belden.com for more information on our new RevConnect and 4K UHD media cables. Thank you.